In this programme, we take members of the Dundee Photographic Society into the highlands of Aberdeenshire, where we meet a head keeper who explains about the benefits of grouse moor management to all wildlife on the moor he protects. This is a rail trap. This is used for catching stoats and weasels and rats. Uh, the idea is the stoat and weasel runs across here through a little hole. You've got to be less than two inches for legal reasons. So, uh, go basically onto the trap, sets the off. Oh, it's caught. So, it's, it's basically to protect wading birds, grouse, especially this time of year when they're sitting on nests. So as you see, you've got a wader sitting on four eggs, five eggs. Last is a stoat or a weasel to come and take the hen or a grouse. So a grouse could be sitting on 10, 11 eggs. So, and well, you can lose your whole covey or your whole clutch of weeders. So it's just another method. They're quite, quite inquisitive. So I mean, and lazy. Instead of going down across there, they prefer to run along here. So it's just another legal method of trapping stoats, weasels and rats. And grouse. Wait, you want to come and have a look, Mike? Because this, is, this yeah. is not just normal. This, All is, right. okay, right. this uh, is what we're talking about at the okay, yeah. thing. So. Yeah. That's, this is well, the great box. Yeah, yeah. There's a method that don't work, but it seems to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the medicated stuff. Yeah. So I mean. So looking at it, it looks identical to the, the normal, normal stuff. Normal get by, you yeah. rub it on your hands, you get a sort of a coating on it. So that's oh, your right, steerate yeah. plus your fluid bit on it. Yeah, yeah. So, and then that side's marked yeah. with a bit of white paint. So we know right. if someone's come along, which we've been told it does happen. Yeah, so yeah. 28 days before the finish, yeah. You flip it onto this stuff. So this stuff. Right, yeah. There you go. Have a wee smell of that. Yeah. Right, yeah. So this is edible, whereas the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> could but eat, I mean, this, this that is... wouldn't do any, yeah, any harm if you, if you no, did no. that. No, no. no but I mean, stuff with the chemical on. Well, there's a myth about this, you yeah. see, because everyone's going about. Bit, bit. Uh -huh. The people that keep raptors as a hobby, uh -huh. that's what they've the raptors with, they've seen that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it is beneficial in a way because you think of the bird of prey kills a grouse. Yeah, yeah. And if you eat food bit, it's worm, it's yeah. also passing it on yeah, yeah. to other birds of prey, so it should be helping them up. Right, right. So, yeah, yeah. But it's up to everyone to withdraw it for the 28 days. Right. So this is where my issue is. Uh -huh. That people don't change it over, they have to. Yeah, the yeah. Day, it's under license, it's a prescription. Yeah, so if yeah. you don't change it, then you are taking it. And how many years has you been using the medicated route for? How many years has that been on the market? Oh, that's, I left Invergeldy in 2005, uh -huh. and got it in 2004. Right. But it's the same, because now you have to withdraw it before yeah. you shoot. Yeah. And so you've got your shooting period. Yeah. So you well, like, so that's, you can start in August and you don't finish till the end of November. Right. So you've got a gap where they're on non medicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So it is breaking the cycle. It is breaking the so, cycle, but it's yeah. been used for quite a number of years. Oh, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so, this is where yeah. you've got to think. So we've got this bit here is unmedicated. Yeah, yeah. This bit's non medicated. Right. It's easier. And then that far away top, there's no grip. Right. Okay. So it is a case of we're so watching we're mixed, what's going on. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So you're mass with, screen it, you know, a mass yeah. consumption. It's yeah. some more. Yeah, another, so another thing we've got to think about yeah. is we've got to get around every, all our files. Yeah. Before we shoot to get them turned over. Yeah. 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 So everything's going on the boxes because all you got to do you can take a walk. You've yeah. got your non-medicated, medicated, put your leg. Yeah. And you're away. Uh, Hans, why is the uh, the crow in the trap? Uh, this is a lasting case. So this is a call bird. So if there's a pair of hoodies in this corner or carrion crows, we call them hoodies. Uh, 
it'll call in one of the pair or both of the pair. So they're quite inquisitive, so they'll hop around the cage because there's birds in its territory, they're not very happy, really. So it comes to, so what happens is jump around the cage. Uh, hopefully they'll jump on the perch. So when they jump on the perch, the door shuts behind them. So once they're in, that's them. So, but they've got to be checked within four hours. So they've all got all their legal requirements, shelter, perch, food, water. Uh, and like I say, any birds are prey and anything, have to be released so yeah but they're eating and rabbits dog food wheat like a bit of roughage so he's got a bit of rabbit there I'm a bit of food when i go and he's got water in his bottle so uh he's all happy so. now and again yeah buzzard yeah uh, we don't use the big cages anymore because there's a bigger chance of catching a bird of prey in one of the big static cages so, and the other thing, when we were using them, we stopped using rabbits. Because if you're using rabbit, you're enticing a bird of prey in, like yeah, so a buzzard, yeah, yeah, to come yeah, and feed yeah. on the rabbit. Yeah. That's why the dog food came in. So well, there's like, less yeah, chance, the yeah, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> less chance of ca yeah. catching something that you're not supposed to catch. Yeah, yeah. So, and, well, and there's your ticket. So that's my yeah, number yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Grampian 240, and there's your state phone number, and your phone 101. Right. So, and that's just as basic all under yeah. the wildlife act 1981 yeah. so and it also states there if you interfere with it you ask, yeah, you're yeah. committing a, an offense as well so you're left in no doubt yeah but still doesn't deter people people yeah they'll let them out so but once you've had them in a the cage they won't go back in again so unless you're really lucky and they, i've had one that's gone back in by itself but yeah so yeah, they're here to, well, to catch them to protect the waders, the nests. Yeah. So, I mean, they, all they do, they're busy egg thieves. Yeah. So, uh, they're little bandits, like. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. Hi, everybody. Uh, we've had a look around this wonderful estate today. What have you all thought about it? It's been exceptionally good. The, the photographer for Dundee Photographic Society, I think I've had a a smashing day, we've seen plenty of grouse, um, lots of wee birds, pretty hard to get a, a photograph of them though yeah. because of the, the darkness of the heather and what have you behind, but yeah. lucky yeah. enough, saw a pair of golden eagles this morning. I know, I know. But Did again, you expect those on the grouse moor? No, no, well we've been, we're told repeatedly there are never any on the grouse moor, but it just goes to show you that they are there. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, trying to find them in the viewfinder to photograph them at the distance of Worms yeah. a bit on the difficult side. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was impossible. Anybody get a photograph of them? No. No, no. Unless I've got a photograph of my bins, then yeah. there's nothing there. But at least but, you've seen them. Yeah. Uh, and the reason we're, well, there's hundreds of waders through here, but we're, it's midday. They're not really displaying at the best, you know, your best time would be six in the morning, seven in the morning, or later, later on in the evening. But you've, you've seen it all, the, the here. Seen, and it's, it's been a very bright and warm day today as well. Yeah, and yeah, most yeah. wildlife just doesn't like heat and brightness. So that's right, that's right. That would seek the shadows and the shade. Absolutely. Um, same with the and hares today. We expected to see hares, but just too too warm. That's right, that's They'll right. They'll be in the lee of the hill, just in the, in the shade over the back end of yeah. the north side. So. Yeah, yeah. But that, they're there for another day. I know, I know. Well, I'm going to take you on down through, through this estate on the way home. Yep. And hopefully we'll get a new, another few chances of a few shots of other things. Yeah. That's it. But I'm glad everybody enjoyed themselves. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Really good. Yeah. yeah. And he, even the gamekeeper's friendly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> None of this get off my land. No. No. <laughs> but we just no. seen a big flight of few which went past us. They lifted. And yeah. Unfortunately, they've not come back round. No. Um, to be on another part. But again, it's it's the fact that they're here. Oh, it's just yeah. Like yeah. And they're, they're having to be disposed of, like Mr. Pat has told us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go. Okay. okay. okay.